Aloha, aloha to you all from the 50th state of the United States, also known as the Aloha State or the Island of Aloha. Since my channel focuses on people, I spoke with some native Hawaiian people and people from other states but living in Hawaii right now about different topics. I hope you get something educational out of this episode. But before we go into the interviews, I want you to enjoy the highlights of the breathtakingly gorgeous, amazing landscape and scenic drives I experienced myself. So if you are new, consider subscribing and liking the video and sharing it too with family and friends. My name is Dinko and this is People's Tube. Thank you and enjoy. So you're from from Hawaii, born and raised. Yeah, Hawaii, okay. born and raised. H have you traveled outside uh, Hawaii? Yes. Okay. What makes uh, Hawaii unique from the your people. perspective? The, sure people. the people. Yeah. yeah well, can you can you speak on that a little bit? Well, I've gone to the mainland, uh -huh. United States, yeah. Washington, and um, even Canada. Uh huh. Oregon too. Yeah. Um, there's nothing like the people. Like it's far different mm -hmm. as far as like the aloha comes from it's like yeah it's the people that make it mm -hmm. that way. yeah um have you traveled outside hawaii um i only did once i mm -hmm. went to illinois okay any difference between the two in illinois there was a lot of rudeness a lot of more self-centered mm -hmm. i and i know it's not the entire population yes yeah yeah but from first impression and one week of being there, that's all I met around me. Mm. But I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of love there. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of any stereotype about Hawaiian people from others? Um, a lot of misunderstanding and stereotype is that we're just savages or people who live on a remote island with like coconut bras or mm. all of that. That's, I get that a lot. Mm. But I feel like often um, the Hawaiian culture is stereotyped into like sometimes like a lazy people mm -hmm. or people that are very unaccepting but mm -hmm. I feel like a big part of Hawaii is um, love, love for the land, love for the people mm -hmm. and I feel like that's what Hawaii is all about. We also get a lot of you live in paradise type yeah. stereotypes. Like okay, Hawaii is beautiful. But there's a lot more to it than just the beaches or the sunset. So what do you wish the world or people out there to know about Hawaii? Or in the Hawaiian people? Uh, just that, like the... It's like cliche to say, it's like everybody says like the aloha spirit. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Hawaii is really about like that accepted, like that acceptance about other people, other cultures. And uh, I feel like that's what makes Hawaii so great. Mm -hmm. Like you can come to Hawaii like you can be from anywhere in the world, like um, Brazil, anywhere. You come here and then the people will accept you like for who you are. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what uh, makes Hawaii great. What's one thing you want people to know about Hawaii? Um, I want people to know more so about our aloha, um, the kindness and love we give. Mm -hmm. And I also want them to know that aloha doesn't just mean hello. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, it is a lot of meanings. It's more cool. than that. Yeah. Okay, do you think there is uh, some some sort of stereotype about Hawaiian or the culture? You think well, that you, you have it. You, you do have. You know, a lot of local people don't like don't like the tourists. They don't like coming over because a lot of it is because of the respect. Yeah, they come over here and they just throw around themselves. They get a kind of bad attitude. It's like if I was to go to where you're from, the same thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. 
but you have it. You go to certain parts of the island and they just don't like it, you know what I mean? Like me, I I aloha everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's all about aloha. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you talk to somebody, you just, you just you know what I mean? You gotta be friendly. You know what I mean? Like anybody like like how you approached me. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. What is um the first type of food that comes to your mind? Lalao. That comes from our tea leaves. Um, it can be with, with pork, beef, or fish. You get to decide. But it is beyond delicious. <laughs> So what's so unique about this place? Um, well, the ocean is right here. It's beautiful. The ocean? Yeah. Okay. Come here whenever yeah. you want. Um, just so, you can go hiking, you can go biking, you can go swimming, surfing, mm -hmm. swim with dolphins. Yeah. If you want here. Oh, you have swum with dolphins? Yeah, and I've swum with, swam with sharks. Wow. Um, and manta rays. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so, what is the best food you have ever had here? I do think the Asian food here, the, the Polynesian food is amazing. Yeah. The Polynesian the food? dim sum is the best. What's like. the name again? Dim sum. Dim sum? Oh, okay. Yeah, dumplings and... Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And uh, have you interacted with uh, Hawaiian people, like the natives? And what can you tell me about them? Mm, there's a wonderful, like, uh, just aloha spirit. Aloha spirit. It. Yeah, can you can you explain what that means? Uh, it's a lot of like gratitude towards you know Mother Nature and the earth uh -huh. rather than connectivity. Yeah. And uh, just nice welcoming. Yeah. And uh, what is the best place to go to in uh, in I guess Oahu is this what mm, this place Oahu. is called Oahu? Oahu. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. um, for the beach, I think probably Kailua. Is beautiful. Kailua. And you can kayak to some of the um, little neighboring islands mm -hmm. that are close, mm -hmm. and the water is just beautiful. Okay. Turquoise. Yeah. Um, and then probably hiking. You know, there's three peaks, or there, there's a lot of mount, there's a lot of hikes here that are uh, there's like hidden waterfalls mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the middle of it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm from California originally. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what's the difference between California and Hawaii? The aloha. The aloha? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... That's what I've been hearing, yeah. yeah. California, so, most people, you can't walk up on people like this and... Yeah. Over here, I, I'd say, more welcoming. Uh-huh. I, I feel... So, that welcoming spirit. Yeah. Okay. More welcoming here in California. Yeah. Um, so, in terms of uh, tradition or culture, um, what did you learn from, like, from Hawaiians? They respect the island here more. Uh -huh. In terms, like, I mean, it's still kind of, it's still kind of the same, but not. Yeah. Mainland, yeah, like, if you go to the beach over here, like. It's still look like certain beaches, it's still like California, but they still respect it more, you know, this is their island and everything, yeah. but like, yeah. it's been a long time since, you know, it's been, we've taken over. Yeah. I'm not saying, like I'm not local, you know, like, yeah. we've taken over their island and everything, I do believe that. Yeah. Do they feel okay with that? Like. Oh no, they get really upset. Uh, they get really upset. Like I mean, they 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 come to uh, conclude. Like they come to like it happened. Yeah. But once they, they, once the topic gets brought up, they get really like, oh fuck that. Eat it up, okay. You know, especially when they've been drinking and everything. Or like yeah. they don't bring the topic up. They get really defensive about it and everything. So that's a topic not to discuss with exactly. yeah, the natives. Okay. So what do you think is unique about Hawaiian uh, culture and the people of Hawaii? Well, first of all, aloha, which is love and sharing of breath. Uh, my name is Sophia, and one thing that I've been contemplating recently about Hawaiians is um, their commitment to lokahi, which means harmony and unity with, with 
all. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really beautiful to keep those things in mind, uh, no matter where you are in the world. Yeah, what about the food? What can you tell me about the food? The food? Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite is lao which is basically sweet potato. Well, you can do it with lots of different things, but I have it with sweet potato, coconut milk, and spices. And it's wrapped inside the, the uh, kalo leaves and steamed for a couple hours. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> What's the number one spot for you in Hawaii? Mm, number one spot. Uh, Maybe this beach? I feel like it's out, out catching a wave. Oh, catching a wave. Yeah. Where is the best wave? In? The best wave? Yeah. Um, I really like South Shore waves. South Shore. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And South Shore is pumping. It's a good vibe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sophia. This place is amazing. I just have no words. It's not just the place, the beauty, or you know the the, the scenery and everything, but the people are so amazing. Uh, thank you so much. As they say, aloha, mahalo.